Hello everybody! Today I'm going to be transforming this mid-century modern dresser. So if you want to see the final result, just keep on watching. So this dresser had a lot of veneer peeling. Um, my solution for this was to use Bondo. So I mixed up a little bit, then added it to the specific area, let it dry, and sand it after with an 80 grit sandpaper until smooth. As you can see here, these corners were also kind of peeling, so I used wood glue and these paper clips to hold it in place until it dried. Another problem that I found while working on this dresser was that one of the drawer slides was broken. It was missing a piece of wood on the right side, as you can see here. So I added another piece of wood and cut it to fit the size of the drawer and it worked perfectly. So with all of that out of the way, I started sanding especially the top because it had a lot of the previous finish peeling and after sanding it for a little bit I realized that it was a really stubborn um, finish that it had on this piece so I decided to use a stripper instead don't forget while using a stripper to always wear a mask always be in a ventilated area and just protect yourself You want to do a very thick layer when working with stripper so it works the best and I also wrap it in a plastic wrap to optimize my results. And then you just have to start scraping. After I made sure that the top was smooth and ready for paint, I also scuff sanded the drawers and the rest of the dresser and then I used my vacuum cleaner to vacuum the interior because that holds a lot of dirt then i started with my favorite primer you already know kills premium interior exterior primer and this is what it looks like after the first coat i usually only do one coat see if there's any bleed through and then start painting also if you have brush strokes you can sand it with a 400 grit sandpaper uh, wipe away all the dust and then start painting. Here I am applying the first layer of paint and as you can see I chose a beautiful dusty rose color. In this case I didn't use my paint sprayer because I was working late nights and I didn't want to wake up my neighbors but if I could have done it I would probably use my paint sprayer but as you can see the, this brush works just fine it doesn't leave any brush strokes so this works as well after the first coat was applied i let it dry for about three hours and then sanded it with a 400 grit sandpaper because this helps you achieve the smoothest finish you can possibly get after sanding, I just wipe with a tack cloth to wipe away all the dust and then give it a second layer of paint. When it is my last coat of paint, which in this case, the second one was my last coat, I don't go and sand it again. I leave it how it is and then I apply my polyurethane water-based in crystal clear matte and I do that with a sponge I love the sponge technique because it's the one that helps you achieve the smoothest results without a paint sprayer because a lot of people don't have that or 
like me, I couldn't use it. So it's, it really is my favorite method to apply polyurethane. Now let's talk about the hardware. Um, this hardware was peeling and it wasn't gonna work with my usual method of buffing it and polishing it. So I decided to spray paint it. So for that, you wanna make sure everything is clean so that the paint can hold on better. And this is the spray paint I used, Rustolium Metallic in a gold, bright, shiny finish. I did a couple layers to make sure that I hit every single spot and then to protect it on top I used the Ultra Cover Gloss Clear rust -Oleum Top Coat. After everything was dry, the last step was just to apply my hardware. And here it is, the final result. First of all, my light wasn't the best because like I said, I was working late at night. So this doesn't really show the true colors. So I apologize for that. But at the end, I'm gonna attach some pictures where you can actually see um, with the best light possible. And you know, with my backdrop edited. <laughs> so if I inspire you to do a piece of your own, just subscribe to my channel for more. And thank you so much for watching.